Alrighty, so hey guys, how's it going? I am relaxing here at my house. It is Wednesday. Uh, I've had a very uh, errand-oriented day, so I've been kind of postponed and doing all of the stuff that I wanted to do today. So this is why I'm making a video for you now instead of earlier, and I apologize for that, but oh well. Uh, let's get on to my bucket list. I wanted to talk about the things that I have not achieved and some of the things that I have. Uh, so yeah, um, first off, for my bucket list, everything movie and documentary or uh, related and that includes being a, a cameraman for a documentary um, or for a movie I should say uh, directing my own movie or documentary uh, finishing it editing it uh, being in an award show being at a, a film festival with my with my movie playing uh, I, I want to do all those things I want to do everything that there is to do movie related uh, and I think that, that would be awesome if I could succeed in that way. Uh, I also want to go to many different places. I want to live in a country for, I want to live in another country for at least a year. Uh, I want to go to England. Uh, I want to go to Australia. I want to go to a bunch of other places. I think Scotland would be amazing to go to especially in winter. I really want to go to a place in winter. Um, I just want to visit, like, the Yukon territories. But anyways, um, I just want to go to a bunch of different places. I want to see the world. I want to go to Milan, Italy, especially. That's where uh, I know part of my family is from. They're from Milan, uh, in particularly. So, yeah, I want to go there. Uh, I want Sports-related, I want to see a Manchester City soccer match. So I'm a huge Manchester City fan. I have a few friends who are different fans. I, I know Liverpool fans and Everton fans. And, uh, I don't know any Chelsea fans, because I don't think Chelsea has fans. Oh, burn. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I really want to see a Manchester City soccer match. Really, any English Premier League soccer match would be amazing to see, just because the, the, the fan element just really adds something different. Also, I really want to go to uh, Cameron Indoor Stadium and see Duke play. Because if you have not seen any videos on the Cameron Crazies, you need to see some of the videos about the Cameron Crazies. Literally, the uh, the the state the stands are right next to the field, so it's it's like ridiculous. And so you can literally see people during like inbounds plays or standing on the sideline. You can see that the crowd's hands are actually reaching out further than the players are standing, just to try and distract them. It's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I want to see that. I want to do a lap around a professional race car track. Could be NASCAR or IndyCar. It doesn't matter to me. I just want to do a lap around a race car track. Because you have to be going quite a good amount of speed in order to last on those, uh, those really steep slants on the NASCAR tracks. That's actually pretty impressive. Um, when it comes to other stuff, uh, miscellaneous stuff, I really want to learn the drums like nobody's business. I really, really do. Uh, I want to go to VidCon. I want I, I want to go to VidCon so bad. I hope I get to go this year. Uh, it's still in doubt because I am still very low on cash. Um, I want to see The Daily Show live because I think that Jon Stewart is hysterical and that it would be awesome, 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 awesome to see him live uh, because he is just amazingly hysterical. Uh, he really gives people a perspective as to what it is that um, is going on with our country at the moment, and I like it when he does that, because it makes people realize, hey, look, maybe things aren't as normal as they seem. Hey. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I want to really go see that. Uh, and that's pretty much everything for my bucket list of uh, things that I have not achieved. Um, yeah. Uh, and it's a pretty short list, but I, I was only very recently introduced to uh, a bucket list idea. Um, yeah. And so I'm pretty new to the concept. But on to what I have achieved. I have done something that scares me, uh, and that is snowboarding. I even, I even achieved a second goal of going back to something that scared me the first time, and that is snowboarding. <laughs> Because I, I started snowboarding when I was about 14, and I was petrified of it. Uh, and then I started to really enjoy it. And then when I was about 16 or 17 years old, um, I had a really bad uh, accident and, and 
dislocated my shoulder and messed up my wrist and messed up everything. And I had hurt my elbow pretty bad the day before, and I just decided to, to leave it for a while, and I didn't snowboard for about two, two and a half years. And I came back to it because I, I decided it was high time I grew up and, and realized that uh, I can't just be scared all the time. Um, also, commentating a sports game. I've commentated three sports uh, and up to 20 games at least. Uh, I It all happened because I started working as a statistician for my local football team, and, and it just got much bigger than I expected. Now I'm a staple there, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I've also been on public radio. Uh, I really wanted to do that for a long time. I wanted to be a sports radio analyst. Uh, I don't know why I didn't continue to follow that dream. I guess it was just because I realized that uh, even though being a sports analyst is a a really cool thing, uh, it's just not entirely for me, <laughs> to be honest. Um, yeah, that's that's something. Uh, and the last one, the last one is to see all four major sports teams uh, in Boston win a championship title, and that I achieved earlier this year thanks to that man right behind me. Tim Thomas. I mention him way too often, but it is fully deserved. Um, <laughs> I, I finally get to see all four teams win when uh, uh, the Bruins won in 2011, and even though I wasn't a huge fan of Boston uh, of the Boston Bruins until five years ago, it was still a great thing. Uh, I was even more excited when in 2001 when we won that first title from the Patriots when they beat the St. Louis Rams. That's by far my favorite. Just wanted to say that. But yeah, okay. <laughs> this video is coming on seven minutes now. Uh, yeah, I really liked your video, uh, Danielle. I'm sorry that things kind of weren't going well for you. Um, really sorry to hear about the dog, about your dog. Uh, and yeah, I have, I have some bad dog stories, but uh, we won't go into those now. Um, yeah. I say, actually, I don't think I have it on my keychain anymore. But if I did, there would be a keychain that says Lucy. Uh, or it's really a dog tag that says Lucy on my on my keychain. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to go before this reaches 8 minutes. I'm determined to end this within the next 10 seconds. So I will talk to you guys later. Lisa, I will see you tomorrow. I'm sorry that this video is kind of crappy. I promise I will be back to my normal quality next week, which is still crappy, but at least the picture looks better. Kind of. Bye. I didn't do it. Damn it. It's 8.01.